Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to cover seven huge benefits of implementing a sales funnel or multiple sales funnels into your online businesses, but also cover three downsides, potential downsides, and how you can avoid them when getting into the world of sales funnels in your online marketing. All right, you ready? Let's go ahead and dive into it. So reason number one of implementing sales funnels into your business is simple. It creates a better user experience for your visitors. If they're purchasing your product on how to groom your pet dog, they know that you're already interested in dogs, you're already there, you're in a buying mood, and you're going to be able to offer them something that's very relevant, like you know, the top 10 combs for your dog's new hairstyle. And so you can offer them something that's relevant and can provide them a good user experience in a very easy and automated fashion. Benefit number two is it allows them to get more of you at an incredible price and incredible deal while they're in the buying mood. So now oftentimes what happens if you don't implement sales funnels in this way, you can make a sale and get a customer and you know they buy the one thing and they're done. And then two, three weeks later, you offer a deal on that same thing or you offer a deal on something else, but they either have bought it at a higher price or they're not in the buying mood in the moment. Whereas if they made that purchase of the one item initially and then you offer them an upsell or something where they can get the next thing right then and there at a good deal they're already in the buying mood and you're giving them what you know they need because you know this is what the next step is in their buying process and their journey for whatever your niche is it only makes sense and it actually provides some respect to your visitor because you're helping them guide their way through the journey number three is a pretty obvious one for you as the marketer and as the seller is that it increases your average order value of the cart if you, they make a sale and you just say thank you for your purchase, what the price is the price. That's all you're going to get. However, when you start implementing upsells and downsells, cross-sells, bump offers, all these different things that are in the sales funnel toolkit, the sales price is the minimum of what you're going to get. At that point, you can increase by adding a bump. You can increase by adding an upsell after the checkout process. You have all these different ways of increasing the average order value, but you can't really make the average order value go down beneath the original sale. So that's a huge benefit for you as a marketer. Number four, the big benefit for you again as a marketer is it allows you to improve that conversion rate, improve the average order value over time through conversion rate optimization. I have a huge post on IncomeMesh.com about conversion rate optimization. I'll link it in the description below. But essentially, that is the scientific way of testing and testing and iterating and making your sales process better by changing the headline, changing the button color, changing the price point of the offers, or even changing out what upsell and downsell you offer and in which order to make sure that you're constantly getting closer to the best possible conversion rate for your niche and your product and your brand. Number five, and probably my most favorite uh, benefit of using sales funnels, is it takes you away from the stress of those constant launches, where maybe you only make your money three, four times a year when you decide to launch a new product or reopen the cart of an existing product. When you have a sales funnel in place and you've optimize that sucker to where it's converting nicely for you, you have more of an evergreen sales process where you can expect to get a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars a day out of that one funnel or maybe a thousand, two thousand, however you choose to scale it, you can kind of see that go over time. And even better, if things start to drop off, you can kind of see it day by day instead of having a bug in your launch process you have a you send an email with a broken link and it's all broken right then and there here you're constantly tweaking and getting it better in a relatively low stress environment benefit number six is that because you're automating much of the sales process which is a very consistent process it allows you to free up more of your time to do higher value activities maybe that's one-on-one -on -one coaching maybe that's running a mastermind maybe that's just producing more value on youtube videos like this while your sales funnel is running and paying the bills in the back end so personally i want to focus on where i can only do what i can do and Running a sales funnel, once you've optimized and you've learned what your readers need and want and how you can best serve them, you can set that guy on autopilot, allow it to do its job, and then you can do what only you can do and implement your creativity and give your gifts to the world. And number seven, once you have everything optimized and dialed in, you will have a better understanding of your overall cost of customer acquisition. Like let's say if you're running Facebook ads or YouTube ads and you know it takes you about $10 to get a sale, let's say, or maybe you know it's a dollar to get a lead and then from there it's 25% you know, of your leads convert into sales. Once you get your numbers dialed in, which I'll go into much more detail over time, once you have that dialed in, you'll be able to scale your ads and scale your business in a slow and manageable and profitable way and then you'll be able to grow and serve more people without adding additional time and effort and energy on your part. It just 
you know, you put the money in, if money comes back in a greater for, uh, function, you can keep rinsing and repeating that and going back to the well and making more money and serving more people. Win-win. All right, so that's all the rosy good benefits of sales funds. Let's talk about three potential downsides and how you can either reframe the downside to be a positive or what you can do to overall just avoid the issue in the first place. All right, so number one is that in a sales funnel, you can come across as being salesy, right? And nobody likes to be salesy. I am an ex-corporate engineer. I manage a department. I was not in sales. I've never spent a day in sales. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very much a numbers guy, a data guy. And when it comes to the sales process, I get a little like eerie and icky and ugh, I don't like it. However, you have to think about this and reframe this in your own mind. If you believe in the product or the service or the education that you're offering, if you believe it can actually help people and it's a good thing and it's a good product, it is your job. It is your duty to get that product, that service, that information into as many people's hands as possible. Now, that doesn't mean make everything free and give it all out because if it's free, people don't people barely ever take uh, take it for granted and they they don't use it and they don't uh, proceed with it so you need to pay for it so they have that perceived value so you have to do the sales process but yeah it's your job to get it in front of as many people as possible which means you need that sales funnel and you need to optimize it so you can convert it and scale it over time and downside number two is that when you have that funnel and it's starting to work sometimes you can forget that the numbers that are on your screen and the conversions that are on your screen are actual people and you can start to think of it as just a numbers game and trying to make as much money and you know you see the numbers go up and it's all well and good but never forget that you're serving people you're helping people and don't lose that humanized aspect of the whole online marketing thing you know i i see a lot of negativity around digital marketers who i think take it too far and take it the wrong way and they forget that they're serving people so whatever your specific method is me personally i like to have a few clients you know ongoing it's a huge time sink and I could probably be making more money or serving more people doing more scaled activities like this YouTube video however I like it because I'm working with people I can truly see my efforts reflecting in their individual business and it helps additionally doing YouTube videos having comments all these things that go into the actual marketing aspect can help you maintain that grip with reality that you're serving people and never forget that and downside number three is that when you have that funnel dialed in and optimized you can kind of start to rest on your laurels and stop iterating and stop trying to find new things and stop trying to always improve that because you'll be afraid oh i have this thing working so well it's so profitable i put one dollar in i get five dollars out why would i ever change anything the challenge is when the music stops and either your product market changes your the needs for your customers change or just your you know facebook changes something you need to keep your skills up you need to keep your relevancy up so that you'll always be able to iterate and improve so Whatever it takes for you. For me, I like to always have the main funnel working, but then always trying to overthrow the king on this other side here. So, you know, take some of my paid budget and obviously put the lion's share into what I already know works and is optimized. However, start always having that incubator of these crazy ideas and try it out, see how it works. If it fails, that's fine. That's part of the budget and be able to scale up to it. Eventually, you'll find something that works better than your incumbent and you'll be able to kind of switch the guard and then start again trying to overthrow the next guy that's just the name of the game and you're going to waste some money but the thing is i'd rather waste some money up front testing new things than be up a creek without a paddle when something changes on my main funnel all right guys i know that was kind of rapid fire at you but that was seven benefits of using sales funnels and three downsides and how to avoid them i hope you've enjoyed this video if you want to learn more about sales funnels go ahead and check out the link in the description below to the full blog post on sales funnels and the tool that i am presently using to implement funnels on my wordpress website which is cart flows if you're interested in checking out cart flows go ahead and go to incomemesh.com cart flows there will be a link in the description below that is my affiliate link and thank you in advance if you choose to use that it's an awesome platform you'll hear a lot more about that in future videos i'm john from income if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.